So welcome back to the channel guys, it's been a while, so we figured we'd do an update on Monroe. There we are. <laughs> that's it, that's the end of the video. <laughs> so it's been in daily use since whenever we last done a video on Monroe. When was it? I don't know. A while. I don't even know what the last video we did. Was it? These. They blend right in now. Yeah, you can't even tell. See? They, uh, they've uh, faded into the paintwork. So they're not quite blue anymore. They're quite more silver. So since last time, the Monroe's developed a leak in the sunroof. Even though we've replaced the seal already. Are you looking at me or is it just pointing at the ground? You're in the perfect view. Got a nice epic view, you know. To uh, flatter the, the, the car right. and yourself. So yes, it's developed a leak. We've now got a, a great lake in the back. <laughs> great lake. <laughs> so that's one thing we need to address. So as you can see, there's a lake. This is all Jake's fault. <laughs> oh yes, we replaced HT leads as they were knackered as well. So these are the old ones. Hey, just, just talk through the funnel. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I can see the carpet's still black as well. There's a leak. I don't think there's a leak. I think it's the way the car sat as it's been sat at an angle. In daily use, you see. Something's falling out. You can't see that bit. <laughs> there we are. You bust my door. How about bust the door? Doors fall into bits. So now the doors fall into bits. Basically, the old cars fall into bits. In actual fact, the only thing we've actually done to this car is changed the HT leads and the indicator relay, which was playing up. Apart from that, it's kind of sat. There's the old one. Old one. It's just a relay. Yeah, it's a relay. <laughs> and that's about it. Not the Olympics thing, you know. Do you have play relay? No. You know you've got like a pole or something called a flag and you have to run to the one person, they grab it and they run? No. I don't know. That's why I have my physique. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we've got a slight leak. It's just minor though. Yeah, minor. This is minor. <laughs> just a bit of water. I think we're going to have to take the carpet back out and let it dry out. Yeah, I think we get the point. It's leaking, the, you know, the, the car mat's wet. So it kind of gives you a false sense of how well the carpet's... Well, this side's bone dry. Look at that. Yeah, so the carpets are dirty. That's big Jake's mess to it. So it's been about 12 months since the carpets have been sprayed or dyed black. And they've not aged too badly. Admittedly, they're flooded. Well, the passenger side's flooded with water now, but the driver's side's fine. <laughs> Maybe that's because there's a hole that needs welded in this side. It's dry, but... Anyway. Looks pretty darn good. I can see, I think the water's uh, causing issues. No wonder nothing works anymore. So it's going to come out to daily use for the winter as it's now December something. And it'll stay like in the dry until the summer. We've got a couple of things left to do. We've got the new steering rack. We've got the rear trailing arms to convert it to rear discs. We've got the rear anti-roll bars. Rear and front from the 325. And obviously we've still got the engine to do. But that'll probably wait until we get a unit. All in all, not much has changed. I'm bored now. So compared to an actual OEM black carpet, which is here, this is in the car that we've not introduced yet, it don't look too different. So considering this is still a little bit dirty, but I think it looks the same. So one of the only things we have done is replace HT leads. It was running a little lumpy and it was, it was basically losing power. So we'd done the fuel pump, it weren't that. It weren't the fuel filter as we'd done. Oh no, it worked temporarily, the fuel pump. Oh yes, fuel pump temporarily fixed the problem, but it soon came back. 
So we took a gamble on the HT leads. We got some used ones, so I think that was about 20 quid. 30 quid? 45? 45. <laughs> Basically full price, used uh, HT leads. Genuine BMW? Yes, genuine. From China. China? China. 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 <laughs> so yes, we've changed HT leads and it's running sweet as not. Well, as good as this shitty engine does run anyway. We well, yeah, no, I think you done that in the dark, didn't you? I think we both did it in the dark in the absolute pouring rain. Yeah, so as soon as we any time we try and actually do something to the cars it rains. So at the minute it's dry because we're not actually doing anything. If we got a spanner out of drain. <laughs> <laughs> you so can happened? imagine, literally, <laughs> get a spanner out of the boot and it starts throwing it down. So yes, basically we ended up doing it in the dark. The crank sensor wasn't connected, so it spent the night at the office. Night, well, we couldn't start it, basically. Which was all Jake's fault. Yeah. Yeah. So that's about it for what we've done. I'm dying, so I can't do the video. You'll I'm, be alright. I'll just... I'll just stand there, look pretty. You just gotta push through it. <laughs> Wasn't that beautiful? Like a gorgeous woman bending over to pick something up, you know? Or a fat girl who suddenly loses a lot of weight. Ay, ay, ay.